Hi everyone, welcome back to Barbie Dolls of the Week. This week, it's the day before Labor Day here in the U.S. And um, so I wanted to focus on Barbie careers. Now I've, I've shown some of those before, but they're worth repeating. And in this case, I think there's a few that I haven't shown yet. So I'm going to start with a set of three dolls that are out of the box. And starting off will be Dr. Ken here. And he has a nice shiny suit. This part constantly sticks up for some reason. I'm not sure, but it bugs me. <laughs> See? Uh, but anyway, other than that, he looks really nice. And he's got his little bow tie underneath. Uh, not the most realistic. But um, obviously this is a set from the late 80s. I believe, I want to say 87. Um, you know, I'm going to have to check, but I'm wondering if there was a doctor's office involved uh, that they could be in. That would have been nice. Hmm, maybe somebody knows and can let me know. But yeah, this is Dr. Barbie. Or Ken. That's Dr. Barbie. <laughs> he didn't change yet. Uh, this one is Dr. Barbie herself. So I think this might have been the first time that Barbie was um, a doctor versus a nurse. So, and she still got her original rubber band, which I see has fallen apart in little pieces that I'm going to take off as we're looking at her. Uh, let me go ahead and take this one big piece off. I do like what they did with her hair to kind of keep, um, I'll worry about that later, keep it out of her face. Right now her hair is kind of a mess, but um, I think now that the rubber band is out, I'll kind of try to fix that. She does have her sparkly earrings still, so even a doctor needs that. And she has her superstar ring. She also has, as you see here, a stethoscope, this blue stethoscope, that can indeed go up to her ears. If you take her, if you open up her coat, her lab coat or her doctor's coat, she has a nice, a pretty pink, of course pink, dress underneath. That looks like that, and it's kind of a little bit wrinkled in the middle from being bunched. Um, but yeah, she I think that looks nice under the coat as well. And of course, these do have the metal snaps because that's the time period they had metal snaps uh, back then, which I'm just re-snapping. And like I said, this stethoscope can stay in her hand or around her neck. Um, but here's the back of her hair, by the way. What I was saying earlier is starting to say... I like how they put it in sort of a pulled back look and the rubber band would be here. So I'm going to try to fix the top some and then put it back in that type of... Um, oh, I see there's a middle one too, sort of. But you can see some of the rubber band pieces that I'll have to take out. There, that one came out easily. So, so yeah, here's her face. I mean, a superstar face, obviously, but each one is a little different. Uh, it amazes me, by the way, when you've got people who are so good at identifying these. All they really need is to know if they're bent arm or straight arm, and also if they are, um, you know, what their eyes look like and their eyelashes and facial paint colors. But anyway, this we know is Dr. Barbie, so. Um, okay, and then with those two, of course, came Nurse Whitney, which I have one of these in the box and out. I can't remember if I have... I think I have Dr. Ken in the box, too, but I don't think I have a Dr. Barbie in the box. But um, she has very turquoise eyes, it looks like. Uh, Bluish turquoise. You know, there's turquoise at the bottom, but when you see them on camera, I see it's very turquoise. Uh, she has this outfit that's... You know, I used to think this was a one-piece outfit, then I realized it's not one piece at some point. I realized that. So, uh, she's got the old-fashioned looking nurse's cap, which, of course, they don't wear caps anymore. But that was kind of cute, and, you know, the first aid or CPR kind of uh, red cross there, or white cross on red. So, uh, ruffled part in the front. Uh, she's got Whitney's long, dark hair, as we're used to. And this one, I don't even see a rubber band. It's just, there might be one underneath there, but... It, the hair is tied around. So that represents the medical side of the careers. And I always like that set. So that's a very nice threesome. Um, some of the other famous ones that I have are, are 
you know, famous to me, at least, are uh, Barbie as a Firefighter. This is from the We Girls Can Do Anything Career Collection, which I love. Um, you know, one thing I'll say is, they've never, they may have given up that slogan, or they don't use it anymore, I mean, but they've, they've gone on. I mean, I see every time I go to the store, I see more and more careers. So, for instance, uh, Pastry Chef, and Pet Doctor, and Spaghetti Chef. There's a lot of chefs, I've noticed. <laughs> and then, uh, what else? Veterinarian, of course, which would be the same as Pet Doctor, but sometimes they call it one or the other. Uh, I'm trying to think of some of the other ones. Gymnastics coach, tennis something. Just anything you can think of. Now, I don't think I've ever seen Plumber Barbie, but <laughs> that's one they can work on next. Uh, maybe she may be a lesbian, I don't know. So anyway, this is the firefighting Barbie. She's got a case here that's fallen down. You can see the, the strings hanging there where that sort of fell out. I don't think I ever... No, I've never taken this out. And I've had this since it was brand new. Which This is from 1994 Box State, by the way. Um, I love this one with the bright yellow. And, you know, it's, it happens to be an African American, obviously. Which I just liked better than the blonde one or the white one. And like I said, you see the picture on the back with the fire truck, which is kind of nice, and the little dog. By the way, I almost missed pointing out that the dog is in this box, which is really nice that they give you the little dog as well. Um, she's got a whole little packet of things in there. Let's see if it describes what's in here. She's ready for trouble in her turn-out coat, boots, helmet, and her emergency rescue bag. Brave Dalmatian, fire dog is ready as well. Um, but it, yeah, there's stickers on there, and there's a little clipboard, there's a belt, um, and some other things. But yeah, a whole little bag back there of stuff that I guess could go in this case here. So that is the firefighter Barbie. Now, um, Barbie has certainly been a, um, flight attendant or stewardess before, but in this, uh, version of things, she is an actual pilot. And I always thought this was cute because this was one of the first times I had seen Barbie with such a short, interesting haircut. Especially for that time period, because again, this is from Box Day 90, let's see, 97. So it just stood out to me. And I like that the, the outfit is more blue than pink. Um, I've got a, I don't know if that's a pilot Barbie or a stewardess Barbie that's in all pink. She's up there somewhere, or in this room somewhere, I should say. Oh, I see her up there. I think she's a pilot, too, but I'm not sure. Might be a flight attendant. But this one we know is a pilot. Says it right there. And so it says at least fly at least 35 hours. Uh, if you want to be an airline pilot, learn everything about how a plane works, etc., etc. Uh, and then it gives you some fun flying facts over here, for instance. Uh, the kite is often considered the form, first form of aircraft. It appeared around 5th century B.C. About 2% of all commercial pilots in the world are women. Now, that was back then. I hope it's higher than that now. And the first passenger airline in the U.S. carried about 21 people. Today, 747 is around, usually around 245, but can carry up to 500. And it says, don't forget, the first woman hired in 1973 by a regional airline carrier had over 7,000 hours of flight time. So, some really interesting facts back there for uh, people to know, especially young girls. So, this is Pilot Barbie. And the last one I want to show you for today in the careers section for Labor Day is Police Officer Barbie. And she is also African-American, a lighter skin than the other firefighting one. Um, you can see the difference there. Um, just different tones. I think it's interesting to have a, ver a nice variety of looks, skin tones, hair colors, all of it. That's one of the things I've said I like about the Fashionista line right now. So... Uh, but they did it back then, too, just not the body types, which is nice to have varied, varied body types. So this is from Toys R Us. It was $19.99 at the time, uh, which was a little pricey back then. Uh, she also has this dress here, which is nice. for um, She can go to the police awards ball, it says. She said, I mean, it says, a friend to all in the community. 
In her glittery evening dress, police officer Barbie shines with pride at the awards ball. Everyone applauds as she receives the best police officer award for her courageous act in the community. Uh, safety tips, a police dog, and a walkie-talkie award, and flashlight for Barbie are inside. So those are cutouts. Now, I don't see the dog in here. Um, it says it's cut out, so maybe there's a cut out of a dog. But I see that would have been nice for them to include a little dog, like they said. And they do have some safety tips. I think she's really pretty. She has a really cute face, um, and I love the uniform. It's you know fairly realistic. Again, not all pink, which is good. And the other little dress is is kind of cute as well. So here's a picture, by the way. I don't know if I showed you the back where she's in that other dress, but she looks good in it, I must say. Um, and they say they also have a police badge and safety tips, which are right here, the safety tips. So, um, I do see a brush and shoes in here, but that's about it. And here's that little badge, I guess, right there, the plastic one in the middle. But yeah, no dog that I see. So I, again, it might be a cutout, but that's kind of disappointing. So, but I love the doll. And with that, I'm going to wrap up for this week. Happy Labor Day, everyone. I hope... You, like me, have the day off, and you will enjoy good weather. It's going to be a warm one for us, like 86, 88, but after that, everything gets really cool this week, and nice and start of, um, you know, fall-like weather, which I love. So, take care, everybody, and I'll talk to you next week. Bye.